Hey everybody, it is Jeff with uh, Forever Clean coming to you with a um, different video. Some stuff I've uh, said before, so I will be repeating myself. Um, I had someone to um, hit me up and wanted me to talk a little more about my air compressor. It's a gas air compressor, belt driven, made by J Air. And um, he kind of mentioned how did I get to that point. Well, I told him I've had a, um, my first air compressor I purchased from Harbor Freight about 13 years ago, 25 gallon. And I thought it was enough, but it wasn't belt driven. So when I used the Tornador, it couldn't keep up. Once the tank was basically com completed with water, I mean, bleh, woo. when it was completed with air, no air, I had to wait until it fell back up to use it. So that means I had to go from the Tornador to doing something else instead of wasting time sitting there until it fills up. So I kind of learned pretty quick um, that wasn't the right machine. So I want to say maybe a couple of months later, um, I happened to be in Lowe's and I seen a 30 gallon cobalt belt driven. So I ended up selling the other one and using this one. I'm like, wow, big difference. Um, big difference. It kept up. It was able to do what it needed to do. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, I had room to put this. A lot of you guys, even myself at the moment, we drive vans. You can run out of space pretty quick. But back to the topic. I learned the hard way, which cost me money. I went with um, a pneumatic 25 gallon air compressor, didn't work, went to a 30 gallon, belt driven, it worked, took space, but you need a generator that can power that. I'll get back on that topic in a minute. You're going to need something that can power that uh, generator, I mean that air compressor. Also I had steam machine polishers a lot of these things if your machine is not powerful enough to run everything you're going to have to unplug some things so um, at this point I end up buying two one for um, my 7x12 enclosed trailer and my 6x12 for you know my other employees uh, my other guys to work with me go one way I go the other Two, two, two Tornador Classics, two Tornador Blacks, two Tornador Velocity Drive Acts, two of everything. And um, back to the um, J Air gas air compressor that I have. There's a gentleman that I, I'm friends with. Um, his name is John with Ultimate Detail in Maryland. Um, I called him out on a job and he came out with his rig and um, we ended up switching he used he used my air compressor I used his notice a big difference he said Jeff it works it worked good but it doesn't keep up as much of course so what ended up happening is he introduced me to his guy a couple of months later here we go again I go buy another air compressor. But at this time, I still had my other two um, electric cobalt belt driven. And, um, but the air compressor, when I used it, I'm talking about everything. Even I, I blow out the cars. It helps when it times to blow the carpets. Use my dry vac um, tool from Tornador. When I use that with the vac, I mean, it sucks up deep embedded sand 
So the air compressor keeps up and stay on point. It doesn't skip a beat. Also, now is less stress on your generator. So when you're buying equipment, you need to sit down and figure out all the equipment you want to run off of it and do you have space. I used to think more is better. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. I ended up selling my uh, one of my uh, Cobalt uh, air compressors to this gentleman, John, because now he has a shop. Now, my other Cobalt electric is going into my shop because now I have two gas air compressors. I bought one off of Marketplace on Facebook. A lot of you guys that's on Facebook, you need to look up um, Marketplace. I bought, um, matter of fact, that Honda generator that you see in, um, in my uh, van. I bought it off of Marketplace. And it's an all Honda. It's an EC or E, I think it's an EC or EU 5000. Very powerful. Brand new, $2,400. I paid $1,000 for it. So a lot of equipment that you guys want and need, even you guys looking for trailers, shop on Marketplace. There's some things I bought from Marketplace and um, it's good stuff. So generators, when it comes to a generator, if you have the space, more is better. I don't care who, what, where say anything different. When it comes to a generator, more is better. Especially if you're planning on growing your business and let's say you have a helper. He's using a different machine than what you're using. You want the generator to be able to supply the electric that you need to work the machinery to get the job done. Um, so in that case, more is better. A lot of supplies that I carry with me, more is not always better. I don't always know what I'm going to get into is why I carry so much. I also don't know if I'm going to get another job while I'm out there. There's times I do a job, a next door neighbor. Do you have time? Can you do it? So in that case, I like to keep everything with me. I've tried taking things out when I didn't think I needed it to go to a job. I get to the job. Guess what? I need it. Um, that's why I carry a van and a trailer. Um, but that's for me. Everybody seems to think a trailer is too much, a van is too much. That's individually um, spoke on. I feel I need it. You feel you don't. I can't tell you what you do or don't need out in the field. So guys, ladies and gentlemen, when you out here and you detailing, oh, Miranda's, I watch your YouTubes. <laughs> Miranda's detailing, I watch you. Um, Hawks, um, Raldo's detailing. Um, I think, uh, there's another guy named John or Tony. I think it's John. Guys, I watch all of you guys. I'm never, I'm never above watching no one's YouTube. For one, I'd rather do that than watch a bunch of craziness on TV. Sometimes you got to stay in the business mindset and watching other people's videos. You can learn. I don't care if you just started yesterday. I'm pretty sure I can learn something from you. Um, a lot of people learn from me. I learn from a lot of detailers that I've been detailing a lot longer than they have. We all think different, so we're going to come up with something different. We're going to do things different. And I'm pretty sure we can all help one another with through these videos. So there's a lot of guys I would not, you know, I would constantly subscribe to. I like your videos. I like your contents. Uh, you're good at the video editing. I'm always say that. I'm terrible at that. 99% of my stuff is raw and uncut. Chemicals, y'all guys, look up Artex. Look up Artex. Um, 
they make some stuff called um, Buster. To me, it's the best wheel cleaner out there on the market. That's how I feel. Other people may feel different. I've used the Sonex and all the other chemicals to turn purple. It's cool and all to see the chemical turn purple, but I caught myself running through it quite often with cars that had bad wheels and it's not working, so you got to use it multiple times. That means you're, you're spending more money, and guess what? You didn't put that in the budget when you charged for this detail. A lot of times you got to go over someone's car multiple times and you're using chemical. Did you put that in the price when you priced the detail? So you got to look at that as well. How bad is the wheels? How many times you think you may have to put chemicals on these wheels? Put chemicals uh, anywhere, even when it comes to uh, buffing and polishing. How many times you got to try to get that scratch out? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm getting at, Ardex, Buster, love it. Look it up, guys. Look up Buster. Um, I get it five gallons. Five gallons, I believe, is the same price as Sonex uh, uh, Iron Off. I've tried about four different um, Iron Offs. It's okay. But, guys, I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking for not no other detailer on here. It doesn't work for me. Um, I buy in bulk. It literally saves me more money than buying gallons. All of you detailers out here that's full time, if you can get five gallons, it's cheaper. Yes, it's more. And it's more when you buy it, but it lasts longer, so you're going to save money. Um, I buy bulk. And at the end of the day, refill up. Um, Artex sell an all-purpose call. New Wave. Love it. I think I said this on another video. When I'm done with a car, it literally leaves a car smelling fresh. You can cut this to do whatever you want. Leather, fabrics, any of that. Look this stuff up. When you wax a car during the summer, you know there's waxes. You don't, you're not supposed to wax a car... If it's really hot outside, Ardex makes this stuff, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys heard of Miami Shine. They make this stuff. 90 degrees or more, you can put this on a car, and it wipes right off with one swipe. I've used it. I do use it. Speaking from experience, if you want to use a wax, that's good wax, um, no matter how hot it is. Um, also, I'm going to get on, um, it's winter time for a lot of us. Right now, it's 37 degrees. I had a cancellation because it was too cold. A lot of you guys have extractors and they're non-heated. Get you a bucket warmer. The bucket warmers that I use, I don't have them here so I can't read the specs. The one that I use, um, it gets the water 180 degrees. You get your five gallon bucket of water, heat it up, pour it in that extractor. Now you got a hot water extractor. You went from a cold water extractor to a hot water extractor. You gotta think outside the box. Um, also, while you're out there and it's cold and you wanna mix your chemicals, hot water is good. You may wanna get you some hot water. Um, our foam cannons, the soap doesn't break down that easy. Pour hot water into your car wash soap when you want to wash your car and it's cold outside. It mix better. Again, think outside the box. When I first started doing um, detailing whew, years ago, I had a, a, a rug doctor. I had the blue one. Um, and I bought the um, upholstery attachment. I had a microwave. I would heat the water up, pour it in the rug doctor, had a hot water extractor. Guys, and if there's ladies listening, I don't mean to leave you guys out. Um, you got to think outside the box. You need hot water, get your hot water, uh, get you a bucket warmer. If you all know where a tractor supply is, go to tractor supply. Lately, they've been out. I went to Amazon, ordered me two more. 
Um, the water will get hot enough you cannot put your hands in there. I will promise you that. Any of you guys need hot water, even when it's time to, if a lot of you guys don't have steam machines and you don't have extractors and you're still using a bucket and a, a, a brush, get you a bucket warmer. And when you're cleaning an interior, hot water breaks dirt down quick. That will help. So all of these things, guys, that you don't have, like a lot of us, hot water extractors, I have two. Um, I have two steam machines. A lot of you guys don't get distracted and feel you less than because you don't have what other detailers have. A lot of us been out here a while. Don't look at it, oh, I wish I had that. Use what you have until you can get what you need. Hot water, you know, if you got generators, get you a bucket warmer, heat the water up, and you stay in clean interiors that way. Very effective. I used to do it. May take a little longer, but it's very effective. Everyone out here, stay in your lane. Don't, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Because the Joneses have a lot of money. There's a lot of guys out here as good at marketing. I'm terrible at it. Um, I'll tell anybody again, like I always tell, I'm a detailer. All of that running business, I'm learning, but it's it's hurting me more than helping me because there's things I don't know. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm about to uh, hire a young lady to handle that. So it's going to uh, take me to the next level. All your social medias, your IGs, your Facebooks, your YouTube, use them. You want people to find you no matter where. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, who's using Google My Business? Use it. It's free. It gets you out there. Google My Business will help. So get yourself out there and um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at this. Oh my goodness. I just drove past this. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm on a back road. Um, I had to do that. Um, when you're starting a business, um, a lot of us are still working by ourselves, but that's not the goal. The goal is to start a business, get you some helpers, grow the business, get more business. You can step back, have employees like the Fortune 500s and always hire to your weaknesses. That's why I'm hiring um, someone to help run the business. That's a big weakness of mine. Um, and as you grow, bring someone on with you. You want them to learn as you grow. You don't want to be out there full-fledged, swamp busy and then when you hire someone, you got to teach them. That slows you down out, out in the field. But if you have someone that can go with you and grow with you as you go, you're good. Um, meaning, as things come up, um, um, you know, they can handle it as well. You know, they see it when you see it. There was times I got so swamped and I'm by myself, I go to hire now I gotta teach. It makes that job for the day a lot longer because you gotta go back behind them. You gotta teach them this, you gotta show them that. So as you are growing, have someone that you can bring along. Miranda's detailing, his wife is with him. And I'm pretty sure every time they go out on a job, they nail it. Um, the goal again is, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, is to Oh my goodness. Ah, phone's about to die. Come on. Why is this phone always ready to die? My phone was about to die. Um, sorry about that. Um, 
You want to have an administrator answer your phone calls, your scheduling, your booking. That takes the stress off of you. You can move around a little better. You can go check on jobs. Um, and they are booked the jobs for you for the next day. As you grow, you can step back from the business and learn business more. So um, don't get into this game being a one-man army all your life. Um, look into getting a brick and mortar, but stay mobile as well. Um, because you're going to lose, if you're not that close to where your brick and mortar is, you're going to lose those clientele that you was mobile. So that means as you grow, you get brick and mortar, the person that's been with you during the mobile, you can send them out every day and you got vehicles coming in every day. Every day. So that means you got, you know, your mobile and you got your inside. And when it's raining, um, get yourself some interior work. Have them bring the cars to your interior so you still can keep your guys working. But um, I was supposed to meet uh, Raldo's detailing today. His um, wife and daughter or son got sick. Um, him and I have been friends on uh, YouTube for a while. We do call one another. I've been watching um, Miranda. I hear he's, he's near me. I need to reach out to him. We can get together. And um, and talk. He does good editing videos uh, where they got the little logo flying and flashing. Um, I would like to have that. Um, you know, look a little more professional. But I tell people my stuff come raw and uncut. Sorry. Um, some people may like it. I may get some attention. I may not because people want to see. Some people want to see things polished. They want to see, I guess, me do my editing like I do my work. I do fantastic work. Um, so, we'll see. Another thing, I have um, a company by the name of Permaplate and Suskin. Chemical called Xylon. I meant to bring the chemical. It was just mailed to me. I have a job on Monday. They want me to go out and detail the exterior of the car and reapply this, this chemical. It is 100 miles one way. Hear me out. 100 miles one way. I'm going to do it. Um, they're paying for it. They sent me the chemical in the mail. I set the appointment with the young lady. Um, then I have another customer which is supposed to be their ceramic coating. I have a gentleman that does uh, vinyl wrap. He did a Jeep for this young lady, wrapped it in pink, and she wanted it, uh, she wanted ceramic coating. So Wednesday, um, I have it in, in my calendar to go do her Jeep. She has a, a, a Jeep Wrangler. She wants, um, she wants to protect it. So, um, guys, be looking to bring more revenue. Um, try to get more work. Just don't look for individual people, individuals to detail. There's company, that's plumbers, plumbing company. They like to stay fresh and clean out in the field. You got electrical companies. They like to stay fresh and clean. Go talk to them, give them a deal. Um, overall, talk about a full detail and then once a month, wash and vacuums. Keep monies coming in. Um, not only them, you got them. Um, how many of you have the Molly maids near you? They have fleets. Go talk to them. You know, you like to look good out here uh, where people can see your name. You know, because a lot of times, a lot of the detailers out here. I think the other guy name is Tony that drives the... He has the uh, the high top Mercedes. Um, he has the Sprinter. 
he did a marvelous job on the inside. A lot of you guys do. Tony, you know, Raldo's, Miranda, y'all, y'all, um, your equipment looks marvelous. I mean, sure. 